Welcome to the Submerged Slope Collapse video tutorial. In this video, we will focus on create geometry, assign material parameters, define boundary and loading condition of a submerged slope problem. Finally, we will visualize results using Paraview. First, let's do the problem definition. A small scale submerged slope is simulated in 2D plane straight condition applying the fully coupled two-phase formulation. The problem has three stages of calculation. In the first step, gravity load is applied in order to initialize the stresses. Then, a liquid pressure is applied at the bottom of the slope for 0.05 seconds, which decreases the effective stress, inducing the failure of the slope. And finally, the applied pressure is switched off and the slope is stabilized, creating the input data. As in previous videos, geometry is created from the coordinates of the points. In this part, we should follow the same previous steps.
Once we have the Anuro 3D files, we just click on Calculate in order to run the first step. After the first step is done, we open the CPS002 and modify the parameters given in the manual. Remember that this is the second stage, which means we have to apply the liquid pressure at the bottom. After we change everything, we do double click on Calculate again. Finally, we will remove the liquid pressure just putting off on liquid pressure flag. Once in Paraview, we can load the four PTK file generated by Anura 3D and visualize the main variables of interest. For this summary slope example, we can visualize liquid pressure, stresses, displacement, and velocities as follows. In this video, we have learned how to create a slope using Git, how to apply summary calculation, how to perform multi-step calculation, and how to visualize the result using Paraview. Thank you very much for your attention.